This is a review video of elimination reactions according to the Alberta Chemistry 30 Organic Chemistry Curriculum. There are two types of elimination reactions that students need to be familiar with. One is with alcohols, a dehydration, and the other is with organic halides, a dehydrohalogenation. Okay. With the elimination reaction of alcohols, you need a acid catalyst or the reaction will not occur. What the acid catalyst does is help pull off the OH and form a water, which is a good leaving group. Then a double bond will form on, next to the carbon that was connected to the OH. So with the addition of the acid catalyst, you're going to get water coming from the acid plus the OH. Okay. Now the acid is a catalyst, not a reactant, because we get the H plus returned at the end of this reaction. Okay. When the OH leaves as water, we're left with five H's and two carbons, and one of the carbons is missing a bond. Okay. And as long as there's not another uh, negative ion to come in, that carbon that's missing a bond will form a double bond with its neighboring carbon and eliminate one of the H's. And that is the part that replaces uh, the acid. So you can turn an alcohol into an ene via an elimination reaction. In this case, there was only one carbon-carbon connection, so we only have one possible product. We're going to take a look at a second example with an organic halide, and this example is going to have two potential double bonds. Now, you need different reaction conditions for this elimination. You're going to need uh, basic conditions, and it's not a catalyst because it gets used up. It is a reactant. In this reaction, we're going to be uh, eliminating something again. In this case, the chlorine is going to be eliminated or removed. And that hydroxide is going to help pull off one of the H's, uh, which will allow the formation of that double bond. Okay. Now, due to the position of the chlorine atom, we could have a double bond formed to the between the two carbons on the left hand side or we could have the double bond formed between the two carbons on the right and that's going to lead to two possible products first i'll do the green situation where the chlorine leaves and then the h is pulled off by the hydroxide to the left so there's our four carbons we're going to remove the Cl and the H to the left, so we have a double bond formed. And the two Hs at the end stay. The second carbon has one H, and then the third and the fourth carbon, none of those Hs have moved. So we get a but one ene. Now, thinking of our inorganic molecules, we have a OH and an H came together to make a water. And we have the Cl come off, and we have a spectator ion of sodium. I'm going to write those together as NaCl. Okay. So that completes the green possibility. The red arrow possibility, where the double bond forms on the right. There's our four carbons. We're going to get the double bond where the red arrow is pointing. The Cl comes off, an H to the right of the Cl comes off, and all the other Hs stay put. So we get a butene plus those same inorganic products. We're going to get a water from the OH and the H that was taken off, and a sodium chloride. Because we've got, we created two separate organic products, we're going to need two of the original organic reactant, and we're going to need two units of sodium hydroxide. 
and that completes the review of elimination reactions.